ICE check-ins. The documents you were given instruct when you must report to an ICE field office or attend immigration court in person. If you have an ICE check-in, the New York City ICE office is located in Manhattan at 26 Federal Plaza on the ninth floor. In many cases, in-person ICE check-ins may no longer be required. To remain compliant with ICE check-in requirements, individuals only need to schedule an appointment online or send an email. For instructions, visit the link www.ice.gov slash es. You have the right to bring an attorney or accredited representative to accompany you to an ICE check-in. The federal government does not guarantee free attorneys for immigration cases. Sometimes a close friend co-worker or community member can go with you to an ICE check-in to assist you with interpretation. Sometimes ICE will let them in with you, but not often. There is also now a virtual method to check in with ICE. If you were paroled into the United States at the southern border and instructed to report in person to the local ICE office, you may report remotely instead. Go to checkin.ice.gov to schedule an appointment. At your ICE check-in, they may ask you questions about your current situation, including your recent address. You could be scheduled for another appointment to come back in a few weeks, few months, or even a few years. ICE may take your fingerprints to verify your identity. You could also receive a notice to appear appointment so you can officially start your case in immigration court. It is also possible that ICE could place an ankle monitor on you. Your check-in with ICE is also an opportunity to change your address and get copies of any court documents, such as your notice to appear. It is very important that you check in with ICE. If you fail to appear, it could impact your case and your options for relief.